Okay, hello, this is Joey again, and I'm back in Windows 8. And I made an awesome discovery, and that is that uh, the apps do not work if your screen resolution is not set correctly. So to do that, you have to go to the desktop. So I'm going to click on the desktop, right-click, screen res resolution, and it needs to be at least... 1024 by 768. I had mine set at 800 by 600. If you don't have it at this setting, um, your apps won't work. So that's why my apps weren't working. So uh, it, now that they are working, you know, here here they are. Um, this one is kind of weird though because it duplicated over here. I don't know why that one duplicated. Remove. And I wonder if it removed over here. No, it's still there. Look at that. Weird stuff. So that's the um, the stocks one. You click on that. And uh, you can click around. See what uh, the stock market's doing. Up and down. Not doing much of anything, really. Uh, let's go over here. And if you right-click, you can add a stock. Let's see. What what's what's Apple? APPL maybe or just APL? I don't know. APL. I don't know what APL is, but um uh, other than the uh logistics company. <laughs> but this could be Apple stock. I don't know. Uh let me let me add another one that I let's see add a stock. Dell. That's a computer company. I used to work for them. And their stock is worth crap. As it has not been worth crap since I worked there. So, <laughs> um, it's pretty much remained flat for the past, I don't know, 10 years. As have all stocks, if you really want to look at it. Uh, and I do encourage you to look that up at some point. Uh, but anyway, there's that. And then uh, you can pin that. You can pin that to the start menu. Oh, I, you know, I bet that's why that duplicate showed up. Anyway, you can go down here to the corner, go back to the start menu, and if I go back here, yep, there it is. So, cool. And you can actually take that and move it on over. We'll put it right there. Uh, next one is weather. I set the weather for Nashville because that's where I live. And you click there, and it's gathering the latest weather. And it's showing the moon in the background. Very pretty. Uh, it's got our forecast. Look at that, 28 right now, but 56 tomorrow, but thunderstorms. Bummer. Oh, that's for Monday, because I guess technically today is Sunday. So anyway, um, you can you can add different cities and things like that. Tweeterama. Here's my Twitter feed and my timeline. I I don't know how to make this one update. All it does is really um, just sit there. It doesn't do live updates as far as I can tell. Uh, I think this socialite one will do that. But I'm not going to uh, sign into Facebook right now. There we go. News can add a feed featured business. Let's see. We'll do cute overload. <laughs> Funny. All right. So that's some pretty cool stuff right there. Uh, if you click on that, uh, it gives you kind of the RSS feed on that. And can you click even more and open up Internet Explorer? Sure you can. Uh, I'm not sure how this will work with um, uh, 
other browsers like um, Chrome. Uh, but I guess that remains to be seen. Can we can we get out of that? Yep. That's a little quirky. Uh, and there you, you get the little live feed. Uh, let's go over here. Alarms. I set an alarm earlier. So let's set one for... Let's add an alarm. I don't know how to delete the alarms. There's like this trash can button down here, but I can't... When I click on these things, I can't figure out how to... Uh, I guess you just turn it off, maybe. Or on. These sliders are confusing to me. Anyway. Um... We'll set it to uh, 22. We'll click the check mark. Yes. See, because this one you you got this. You don't. This one you click on it. See, now that it's out there, you can't trash it. I don't. If I go and change that, change that. No. No, it just won't. It won't let me delete it. I don't know how to delete it. So. Uh. That alarm will be there forever as long as I'm running this developer pre-release anyway. So we'll just give it a minute to start the alarm. And actually, let me back out of it and see what happens. There we go. There's the alarm. And you can stop it. There's measure it. And huh, that's interesting. A rectangle. Oh, so you can like plan out your uh, house. You could put a you know, a mirror right there, and it would tell you how big it's going to be, or, um, I don't know how to use that. Interesting. So that's an application. I don't know if that's particularly interesting, but note space this is one i was curious about curious about earlier okay weird oh Can I? Yes, I can type in this, but. Interesting. Lots of weird things going on. Can I capture image and video within capturing an image and video? Not sure. Let's go back. Uh, I think I would need a little bit of instruction on how to play that. You got paint play, which is just a kind of a painter thing. You can change the color, so that's pretty neat. That little start thing down there in the corner is a little bit difficult to use. It doesn't, uh, I guess maybe at some point you'll be able to change that, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, performance monitor. I don't know what all that is. Let's go back. Is there anything I have not tried? The store uh, is coming soon, apparently. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, there's there's a lot of little games and things like that. Um, that I'm not I'm not going to mess with. But I just wanted to to clue you in on that. That was something that I did not fully understand and uh so I'm I'm glad I figured that out. 
Uh, and I'm, you know, should be interesting to see what uh, what's going on with this in the future. Anyway, this makes it a lot cooler, and <laughs> uh, I hope that uh, they get some of these things uh, even more ironed out than they already are. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye.